Hello, I'm Duan Be at the School of Computing, KAIST, and the General Co-Chair of ICSI 2020. It is my pleasure to invite you to the 42nd International Conference on Software Engineering to be held virtually from July 6 to 11. As you know, due to this unprecedented outbreak, we cannot hold a physical conference in Seoul. We submitted our proposal to host ICSI 2020 about four years ago. Since its approval, organizing committee members together with Korean software engineering community have worked hard to make ICSI 2020 another success. And we also tried to keep it physical to the last minute, but we couldn't. It is heartbreaking and unfortunate, but I hope you understand that we do not have other options. However, don't be disappointed. Now the virtualization team is working harder to make ICSI 2020 a memorable one. We are going to have very exciting events in addition to technical tracks in the virtualized ICSI 2020. Please come and enjoy the conference. Now, I would like to introduce Professor Greg Rothmer. Without his leadership, willingness, and great ideas, ICSI 2020 would not be possible. Greg, it is your turn to welcome participants. Thanks, Duan. Thanks for your leadership, too. I'm Greg Rothermill. I'm the co-chair with Duan, the general co-chair uh, for ICSI 2020. Like Duan, I'm sad that we're not inviting you to South Korea, too. There's so many things that I'd like to have shown you. Hopefully, we can do it again sometime in the future. But now, instead, I want to invite you to a completely new event, a completely new way of configuring ICSI, Virtual ICSI 2020. ICSI is a truly global community. And to enable this community to take part in ICSI uh, altogether without forcing some subgroup to sacrifice sleep, we're organizing the conference, around, uh, the, the conference around the concept of time bands. Uh, there are three time bands. One time band we call the Atlantic time band because it allows people on both sides of the Atlantic in Europe and uh, the Middle East and Africa and in the Americas to participate in the conference and interact synchronously. Another time band we call the Pacific time band because it allows people in the Americas to interact with people in East Asia and Oceania synchronously. And a third time band we call the Indian time band after the Indian Ocean. Uh, and that allows people in East Asia and Oceania to interact with people in Europe and Middle East and uh, Africa. And so within these time bands, there are three hour periods. Uh, and these three hour periods are where we are gonna position the keynotes uh, and the different technical sessions. So with this setup, Pretty much anyone who attends the conference can listen uh, to and see two thirds of the events live synchronously with everyone else. And we're going to live stream uh, the con the, uh, the all the talks, uh, but we'll also record them so that people who can't be there uh, in person for the times that they're perhaps sleeping can see them later. Now, within each of these time bands, the first couple hours are for sessions, but the third hours are reserved for uh, what we're calling Zoom. Uh, Zoom meetings, um, and in Zoom meetings we'll do things such as have poster presentations, have demo presentations, have birds of a feather sessions, and you can join those and also interact with uh, folks in the community. So there'll be lots of interactivity involved and, and lots of ways that, that in these times of uh, social distancing you'll actually get to interact with your colleagues uh, in the software engineering community. So we hope with all this that, that you'll all find uh, an exciting and interesting technical program to attend. But there's also the workshops and co-located events that will be on either side. So the main, main event for ICSI is, is one week, uh, July 6 through 11. Uh, but the week before and the week after are where the co-located events and workshops uh, are held. And so hopefully there's something that you'll find uh, worth doing with those. Uh, that's all I have to say for the moment. Uh, I want to turn the uh, turn your attention to uh, Darko Marinoff and and uh, and Jane Cleland Wong. They're our program co-chairs. Um, I just want to thank them for everything they've done for this conference. Uh, they have the clear distinction of being the only program chairs for ICSI who have ever uh, designed a technical track for ICSI twice. 
So, Darko, Jane, thank you, and uh, please go on. Hello, my name is Jane Cleland Wong, and I'm program co chair for ICSI this year with Darko Marinov. What can I say? This has been quite an adventure. We've worked with our program committee to select a set of exciting papers. We scheduled everything to be presented in Seoul at the end of May, and then all of a sudden our plans were changed. While it's disappointing not to be able to meet in person, it's also a really great opportunity for us to try something new. As program co-chair, I've thought quite a lot about what makes a great program and whether we're able to replicate that in our new virtual world. For sure, we're going to miss the coffee break conversations and all of the informal opportunities that we value so greatly. But I challenge you to look for new and different ways to engage in ICSI this year. You can attend sessions live or asynchronously, engage in online discussions with authors, to get together in birds of a feather session to make this virtual ICSI a really great experience. You can select talks that are of interest to you to attend, meet the speakers in Slack after their presentations, go to Zoom rooms to see poster and demo presentations, and reach out to people whom you may have always wanted to talk to. I hope to see you soon at Virtual ICSI 2020. Hello everyone, welcome to the Virtual ICSI 2020. My name is Darko Merinov, program co-chair together with uh, Jane. Uh, we have very exciting uh, program. Uh, we hope that uh, you will enjoy it. Um, in the blended sessions, we have a total of 292 papers from five different tracks, the technical research track, software engineering in practice, new ideas and emerging results, uh, demo papers, and the journal first uh, papers. Uh, we've blended them such that they are going by the topic rather than by the track. Uh, we also try to take into account the preferred time bands for presenters. This is a, a multi-objective optimization to try to get together the papers on the same topic while also observing the time band preferences. Uh, we hope that you are going to enjoy these, uh, these sessions. Uh, we will make the videos optional as a backup and we hope to have uh, many live presentations and an engaging uh, discussion among participants. Uh, I also hope that your videos will be better than mine. See you at Virtual Lixi soon. Bye. Hi everyone, my name is Crystal Opsch and I'm the Virtualization Chair for Lixi 2020. We're going to try something completely different this year. All keynotes and technical talks are going to be live streamed simultaneously onto YouTube and EQE in two hour sessions with up to three parallel tracks continuously for five days. We'll be following the sun. For that, we have four teams of ICSI volunteers around the world. One here in Irvine, California, another one in Seoul, another one in Europe, split between Spain and the Netherlands, and the fourth one in China, so that our Chinese colleagues can also watch the talks live. Our live production team includes around 30 ICSI volunteers. Registered participants will be able to ask questions during the talks and we will we'll also support ways of interacting with the presenters immediately after their talks through text and video conferencing. But besides the live stream talks, Virtual ICSI has many other components. Greg, Jane and Darko already mentioned some. I am particularly excited with the live entertainment program that we are putting together. Virtual ICSI uses many different technologies, Zoom, YouTube, Twitch, Slack, Twilio, Slido, but we are working on ways of integrating all this to simplify the experience. So besides the live team, the virtualization uh, committee includes several others who are working very hard in order to make it easy for you to participate in the conference. I am in awe of the energy that the entire virtualization team is putting into this. And it has been great fun to join the organizing committee. We hope this will be a good experience for everyone.
Hi, see you at the new faculty symposium.